Jackson and Jordan in the backcourt. Pippen, Grant, and Purdue up front. Nice play. And, oh, and Lambeer taking a shot at Paxson, who did not like it. John Paxson went back at Bill Lambeer. He did not like the shot given by Lambeer. Certainly unnecessary. Well, Paxson also was the player that was running into Lambeer earlier, and he just took a, he just did not like it all. Paxson is really upset, and now Joe Crawford has put the tee, and I believe he's put the tee on John Paxson. You know, Joe Crawford's one of the top officials in this league, and it's important that he keeps his cool, because sometimes he loses his cool when he gets upset with the players, and he is an outstanding official. You sound like you've had some personal experience in that area. I've had personal experiences with all of them. Well, apparently he has now called a double technical on Lambeer and Paxson. The personal foul was charged to Isaiah Thomas. The late hit was given by Lambeer. He got Paxson for the T on the retaliation. And Paxson is on the line off the foul As you can committed see, by Paxson, Isaiah. Paxson has him beat, and Lambert really hit him and hit him hard. So uh, they made it tough for him to make the bucket, but Pax handled it. E.J. Armstrong handling. He just checked in. Armstrong and Craig Hodges now in the backcourt. Cliff Levingston, Bill Cartwright, and Scotty Pippen up for a beautiful backcourt pass for Pippen, and he is walloped. And that will be a flagrant foul. And it's getting very, very tough out there. Again, an unnecessary hit taken by the Pistons as Scotty Pippen was racked up. Again, I think that's what Phil is talking about. And that's what Michael Jordan is talking about. They just don't want to see that in our basketball game. He already had the guy beat to the basket. And then there was a real hard foul, a great backdoor play that the Bulls love to run, and they really let the guy have it, and then Rodman did push him. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a clear-cut cheap shot. I, no question, clear-cut. That is a cheap shot, and it should not be allowed, and the officials are doing what they're supposed to do right now. They are calling. The only other thing the official could do is make the same call and then could eject Rodman from this game. That could happen. And if it continues to happen, I think that's what you're going to see. They're going to stop it. They're not going to allow that type of flagrant foul. Foul was called on Lane Beer, and you'll see the, the combination of Pippen goes to the drive. It's Rodman from behind and Lane Beer from the side. The Chicago Bulls bench started to make a move uh, toward the court led by Phil Jackson. And now Mike Mathis is telling, he is telling both teams, you better straighten this out and clean it up, but we're not going to put up with it. Bulls lead it for jumpers in the NBA, which also provides difficulty for the Pistons. And each Johnson, rebound John Sally. That is the advantage of Sally, who is very, very quick, and look out. Pippen and Rodman looking to go at each other. Now, in the past, I know the Pistons have felt they could take Pippen out of his game with rough play. He has been smashed a couple of times during the course of this rivalry, and you know the story of the of the famed migraine headache suffered by Scotty Pippen. There's and another you, look at it. You can see right there, Marv, that he is really getting physical. And I think what has happened is this. I think that the frustration of the Pistons is really coming out. The fact that they can't get the job done. Timeout has been taken. We'll be right back. Strong and then throws one out a good shot. Dumars on the follow. Dumars picked off by Pippen. Brown wants a backcourt violation. And a timeout is called by the Bull. Pippen taking the 22nd timeout. Down to 519 remaining. 
in this first half, and the Bulls lead it by nine. This was after the confrontation, and you can see Rodman trying to impede the progress of Pippen, and I'm sure the officials are watching it very closely like the NBC cameras are, and if they see Rodman do anything, they're going to they're gonna get rid of Rodman because he's already got one T, I think, today. Edwards getting set to return. On right, squaring up on Lavier. And Joe Crawford blowing the whistle. The basket will not count. Foul before the shot attempt. It's away from the ball on Rodman. Well, as we can see here, they're just wrestling for position, and Rodman just will not let him move, and he is impeding his progress, and I think they're going to call a foul on Rodman real quick on this play. I think that one was called a little bit tight on Bill Lambeer right there. I think the officials are concerned about losing control of the game. A technical foul has just been called. And that is on Rodman. That is his first technical. Earlier, Lane Beer was hit, as was Paxson, Chuck Daly, and Brendan Sir all hit with tees. And Craig Hodges hits the tee. Marv, I think it's just the frustration, the fact that the Pistons are down 3-0, and they haven't been able to solve any of the mystery of the Chicago Bulls. The score is 46-36, and they are frustrated because they haven't been able to stop the Bull offense, and the Bulls have been able to slow them down. Chicago Bulls leading, or rather uh, trailing, the, uh, leading the Detroit Pistons, 57-50 uh, at the halftime, a crunching first half, uh, first half that saw five technical fouls called four against Detroit. One play in particular, I'm just wondering as we saw Dennis Rodman put the hit on Scotty Pippen, if this were a regular season game, would Rodman have been thrown out? He would have been gone during a regular season game because he just made an extra push there. Lambeer already made the foul, then he pushed him into the stand. He's gone. Why should the rules change? The rules should not change. All right, let's go over to Amato as Chuck Daly with him. 